Hey everyone, if you want to go on YouTube, this is how to go on YouTube. So, I have everything already loaded up. So, if you go to my about, I have description. Um, I have my description. I'm a gaming video creator, 16 years old, where I live. Uh, I just kind of put that for an extra thing, like Fortnite controller, non clocks. My main game is Fortnite. Zapjace on all socials. You go to any social, you'll find me on Zapjace. Um, accomplishments i have like what i've accomplished over the years my details you can view my email address if you need to send me some business inquiries or anything like that then make sure to have links i recommend having two sets of four it depends on like what you have you don't have to have that if you only have tiktok and twitter discord and twitter or discord and tiktok just do those two but um don't have an odd amount of numbers make another social grow that social so you can have two or four you want it to be everything even. You want to make your page look nice. Um, your views, the time you joined, will be here around stats. You want to have at least one other channel. I would recommend it to be a shorts channel. If your name is, say my name is Abjace, I did Sap Shorts. Make sure that you get your at so nobody doesn't take it, which is called a handle now. Once you get your community, start posting. Try to build a community. You'll see that I have like vlogs on my page, so you can see a day in the life if you're scrolling. You can see my vlogs, you can see my Fortnite montages that I have as a playlist. So it kind of helps get more people. I'd recommend posting shorts once a day, or you could do two times a day. Whatever you feel, whatever you can get content from. Shorts, you could, you, you don't have to like post every day, but once you start hitting the algorithm, I'd recommend doing it. So videos is where you hear if you do a live stream you'll get the live tab now and you'll get the short tab. Go over here to channel dashboard. <clears throat> right here is where you'll see your achievements, your latest videos, you'll see ideas for you, news, your channel analytics. If you go down to content you'll see your recent content, you'll see your playlist that you can edit, you'll see more analytics, you can do research, see what your video who watches other people's videos audience you can see your audience like what their age is if they're not subscribed they're not content you can see all the content that you're getting you can see your shorts you know live streams your videos your own specified for the last 28 days you can see this is the main thing for the last 28 days this is where you see your main last 28 days you can hit this if you want to change it last 90 you could do last 365 and you could just keep on going you can go lifetime and so on you can go to comment see if you had anybody comment and you were not able to reply to them mentions now the way you can see who mentioned you in videos subtitles don't worry about that copyright if you want to see it hit video list and it'll tell you. This right here got partially blocked, but that's fine. It only got blocked in like Russia. That's fine. Um, all of these that are copyright claims, they don't matter because if you go to a copyright claim, not affected. So it's fine. Live stream, sometimes you do want to check if you're live stream. You want to see, like, call my phone. That's fine. No impact. Right here. Call my phone again. No impact. So normally on your live stream, you just check it. We're going to go down to monetization. This is where you can see where you can get affiliate at if you want to get affiliate. So for affiliate, you need zero active community on strikes, two step verification. You need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 public watch hours, only videos and live streams. Public watch hours, you have to have 4,000 subscribers, you have to have 1,000. It's kind of hard to get, especially the public watch hours after 365 days. Um, the watch hours start going down so basically you have 365 days to get affiliate um customization this is where you can do everything i recommend a video spotlight which is basically like a channel trailer i recommend having your popular videos your videos past live streams if you live stream your feature channels which you should at least have a short channel your short videos and then you can add some playlists for extra I recommend having a decent profile picture. Um, if you want to know how to get one, I can show you in a moment. A banner image, and you can add a video watermark. 
your basic info make sure that you have a handle now handles rolled out if you don't have a handle make sure to change it as fast as possible before somebody snatches it from you it will give you a custom link make sure this is where you can edit your description at if you're on computer you could do your links right here make sure to hit first five links so it shows up on your banner then you could do your email audio library I don't really too much know much about this I don't recommend it settings this is where you can do everything go to channel blah blah you can do keywords for people to search you up at you could go to community add your moderators hidden users block the words you can add block the words so nobody can't say it in your live stream or whatever and then that's it for the youtube studio and the youtube stream ladder is a great place to get easy shorts you can go here say if i want to upload a video real fast i can go to fortnite which is my folder yours will be different i'm just going to do this one it's probably not the best but uh you can do split then hit split you can do free form to where you can go whatever you could do your hp your guns how many players are left your ping wh whatever you might want to do hit select game feed but first you're going to do that you're going to find what it so right here yeah, you go to the right here. Imagine that wasn't that. Imagine that wasn't that. Imagine that wasn't that. Imagine that no scope would have hit. Another no scope. Oh, that hit, bro. Oh my goodness. Imagine that wasn't that. Imagine that no scope would have hit. Another no scope. Oh, that hit, bro. Oh my goodness. Imagine that wasn't that. Where you carry? Imagine that no scope would have hit. Another no scope. Oh, that hit, bro. Then you can hit stickers. Captions, output settings, render clip. I don't recommend doing any of those because they cost money. So you want to keep it free. This is an easy way to get easy content on computer, or laptop, or um, for you cannot do this on phone. You can only do this on computer, or laptop, MacBook, or whatever you're on. Then you can hit download. It will download the clip. Imagine that one. That. Imagine that no scope would hit. Another no scope. Oh, that hit, bro! Oh my goodness. Imagine that one. Alright, so I do not use Streamladder for my videos, but that is a good way for someone to make it easy video. This is Rapid Tags. If you want to use Rapid Tags, it's RapidTags.io Generator. If you want to do this, type in Fortnite Shorts or Fortnite Montage, whatever you want to do. Make sure it's Fortnite or whatever game you play. It'll automatically get tags for you, and I'll come back to this in a moment. This is where your TikTok is. I would recommend to have a bio, a link to your YouTube if you're trying to go on YouTube or you're trying to go on Twitch. 100% add the link to Twitch. But this is a video for YouTube. So add the video or add something like YouTube's app, Jace. Goal for YouTube. Make sure a goal because that will make people want to subscribe to your channel. And then add the link so people go right under. I would recommend posting once a day or twice a day on TikTok. Just make sure it's good content. You can even post, not every day, just make sure it's good content. For Instagram, I don't know too much about Instagram right now. I'm trying to work on it. Um, but I would recommend having a bio, adding your YouTube link, and you can do whatever for your bio. Just make it a little more professional. Don't make it goofy or anything like that. And then I got to figure out how to add one, two, three, four, five, like for your socials. I got to figure out how to do that. But that'll be for another video. Your Twitter, I would recommend posting once a day just to keep a, a community tied to, tied together. This is where you can meet people and really like reach out to other people. I would recommend having a bio that's only one sentence. For mine, I have YouTube Creator, Zapjace on all socials, and then my YouTube link, and then I have my Instagram link right here. Then I have Gamer for um, professional or professional account I have as a gamer so that's done that's done say if you want to add a video you go to youtube you click on this he oh got bodied oh, by oh, three oh, men oh my kids. goodness bodied by three <laughs> kids. Dude. okay so my bad for that um but next, you want to hit this little thing, hit the upload video. 
if you're uploading a short, I'll do like a little, <coughs> sorry about that. I'll do a little, I'm just going to say, let me go, where is it at? Desktop. You can hit that. So find your clip. You can add your title, I would say. Fortnite, but with a twist. You want to add something that catches YouTube's algorithm. Like a title is very important, so spend a long time on your title. Make it make sure it has something to do with Fortnite or something to do with like a meme or something. Um, make sure that it cat is something to do with the video. You, your tags, I would recommend doing shorts, Fortnite, Fortnite funny, Fortnite memes. I would recommend doing these four shorts, hashtag shorts, hashtag Fortnite, hashtag Fortnite funny, hashtag Fortnite memes. And uh, then I would recommend leave this blank. Hit no, it's not made for kids. Show more. Tags. This is where you can do copy. You could do this. Hey. Trying to make a video. Fortnite. You can do a comma after every time. Fortnite. Funny. These are the tags that I would recommend for shorts. Fortnite memes, comma, Fortnite, TikTok, and Fortnite shorts. I would recommend these five tags for in your tag section. Recording that you don't have to do this. I don't normally do it. Then for game title, how is there gonna? How is people gonna push your? How is YouTube gonna push your content? Um, to Fortnite when you don't even have the game title on Fortnite. So do that. Well, comments. So you're not missing anything, or say if there's something sus in your video and somebody's like, oh, and then it blocks the comment, just so you can see the comment. If it's actually bad, you can delete it. Um, from there, you can hit, you, you gotta wait for the process HD. Wait for it to say checks are all complete. Hit next. You can add a card if you have a video on your channel. Kinda do it like halfway. Like add a video, you can do, say, you can do a recent short, or you could do like where you could do like a video i would recommend doing it somewhere halfway in the middle but we're going to discard changes checks make sure there's no issues found visibility you can hit it for public to public it to make to make the video right now you can do it on public or you could do private but nobody's going to view your channel so do it on schedule if you want to make it for like tomorrow morning or something like that you can do this you can set your date today's the 21 so say if I want to set it for tonight I can go to like 7 p.m. and then when I get on stream boom I'm starting to get subs then they have a chance to follow my live stream so I would recommend posting shorts before you live stream if you do live stream because that might make people to click on your profile and then they see your live and then you can grow a community um, that's what I recommend and then you can schedule your video or you could of course public your video and publish it right now I'm going to the exit button because this is already a video that I already published